I was having a conversation with a guy yesterday and we were talking about sort of intentional time. Um, and I, we were laughing and it, it was at the expense of my wife. So don't tell her, but <clears throat> we were talking about um, multitasking, right? We were, we were talking about this idea of multitasking and, and about how it just doesn't, it just doesn't exist. Um, and I know that, that most every woman I've ever spoken to has said, this is my superpower. You guys don't understand because you don't have that capability. Um, and so we were having this conversation and it, he was, he was referring back to a golf course that he used to belong to that didn't allow phones. And not that he did not like, not that you had to have your phone off or you, they couldn't be on property. Like you had to leave it in the car. It could not come into the building. It couldn't go onto the golf course. <clears throat> it was immediate ejection from the club, from membership. Like they just straight up, you couldn't have it. And he was talking about how incredible it was from an experience perspective to be completely and totally disconnected from that thing. And it really kind of got me thinking um, about us and about how we, do we ever get disconnected? You know, when we, we talk about the fact that we've got to make deposits into the accounts that we can make withdrawals. We talk about how you can't pour from an empty cup, that you really do need to fill, uh, pour from a, a full cup. Uh, but how do we do that? Um, and, and I was thinking about the kids and I was thinking about, you know, how, <clears throat> how many kids are, uh, we, we tell our kids, for example, you know, don't text and drive. Right. But then we're on our phones trying to read a text as we're driving. I, I see it happen all the time. I, I almost got hit two days ago on my own street from a guy that was he had his phone on top of his steering wheel as somehow that was going to make it better for him to be able to read his his uh, phone while driving. We are just always so connected and from a high performance habit perspective, from a GSD perspective, from an intentionality perspective, from a being connected um, and present perspective, being able to focus on one thing and focus on only that one thing, giving it your 100% attention becomes life-changing. Um, and and for, for those of us that have, have small kids, that quite literally is simply putting a phone in a drawer and getting down on our hands and knees and playing with our little one. That quite literally is turning the phone to uh, airplane mode when we get in the car and taking that opportunity to connect with your teenager that, let's face it, they're really hard to connect with, right? That could be literally leaving your phone in the car for date night and spending intentional time staring into the eyes of the person you're with for, hey, I don't know, an hour or two. What do you think? Okay. So I would just challenge you this weekend, find a two or three hour period of time that you are going to pour into one thing. Don't tell my wife, but multitasking isn't a thing. Find one thing, pour 100% into it, and just see the difference it makes.